No one can feel a huge pimple coming, but you can't pinpoint exactly where. And you feel like you could prevent it somehow by putting on certain serums, face masks, whatever. But you don't know like what it's gonna take and if it's even preventable. I'm having that right now. It hurts to touch. I can't really see anything yet. I'm gonna put this like blemish toner pad. I'll leave that on there for like three minutes. I've been going to bed really early. I'm waking up around 8. I realized that for me, like 8 a.m. is the perfect time. It gives me the perfect amount of time to finish everything that I need to do by like 4 or 5 p.m. This is someone's homemade jam that I got as a gift and I haven't been able to try it yet, so I'm so excited. Do we think this is a weird combination or are you guys used to this combination? The best and the most memorable meal that I had in France, in Paris, was not a French meal, but it was like a it was like a modern diner type of thing where they did stacks of sweet pancakes and then savory toppings on top of the pancakes. So it'll be like eggs and hash browns. Whenever I mix something sweet with savory on my breakfast plate, it reminds me of that. these clips are that I got today. It's currently like 10 p.m. and I'm getting ready to go out because my OC friends from college are coming to LA for one of our friends birthdays so I will be joining them to celebrate. So I'm trying to like freshen up my makeup, pick out my outfit and join them. This is the outfit for the night. I kept it pretty simple just like this off the shoulder sweater with mini shorts, tights, and boots. You guys are gonna see the cutest outfits throughout this video because this video is sponsored by Lucan. Lucan is a cutting edge Korean fashion brand that's making trendy key fashion accessible for everyone. They carry a variety of different styles to suit different personalities and to suit different occasions. And the best part about Lucan is they ship worldwide. I'm going to be sharing a 40% off discount code with you guys at the end of this little section as well as some giveaway information. So make sure you stay until the end. But let me quickly go over the pieces that I picked out. Got so many cute knit pieces from Lucan because personally these are really hard to find and Lucan just happened to have so many cute ones that I ended up falling in love with. Here's what I mean when I tell you I've been obsessed with printed cardigans. We have this one with this very wintry print, perfect for this time of the year. Another zip up that feels a little bit more sporty. This super versatile cardigan with a bow in the middle. This flouncy skirt looks super cute with black sheer tights and tall boots and like a chunky sweater. A pair of comfy pants that's super soft on the outside and on the inside. I have this red off the shoulder sweater. I also have this white off the shoulder top. It's like a short sleeve but it still feels appropriate for the season right now because it is like a fleece material. It keeps me pretty warm. Honestly, perfect for California winter. This long denim skirt. I'm obsessed with this. More of like a warm denim wash. I love wearing anything mini with black sheer tights. So I had to pick up a pair of these black mini shorts. I have this very unique skirt. It is a long black skirt, but it is fleece in the inside. And it honestly feels like I'm wearing sweatpants but a lot cuter and on the side there are all these little bow tie details and you can tie these yourself. And I have two jackets. I have this faux fur jacket. Never owned anything like this. I just wanted to try something new. And then I have this black puffer jacket. It's super oversized. Love the little shine. Very chic. 
and it keeps me very warm. Lucan is allowing me to host a giveaway where there will be five winners that win $100 gift cards to Lucan. And the best part about this is that every participant will still get a $10 gift card. Make sure to check this giveaway out and the link will be in the description box. And they're having their holiday sale until the end of December. So use my code Eugen for extra 40% off and free shipping. Thank you, Logan, for sponsoring this video and keeping me stylish this season. I wish I could put on earrings, but my ear piercing got infected recently. So I'm just playing it safe by not putting anything in there. And instead, I just did a necklace and bracelet combination. I've been doing a lot of preventative skincare for it, and I feel like it's gone. I don't feel it anymore. But all I really did was use sheet masks and like um, toner pads like this that are meant to help with blemishes. And then I just stopped doing skincare that's meant to calm your face down. Just sticking to tea trees and Tella. Getting ready for a little Sunday outing. And to be honest, I don't even know what I want to do. Because these days when I try to do something fun, I feel like it's just eating and shopping. And that gets kind of old. Yes, that something else has been like golf. But to be honest, I don't even know if I enjoy golf that much because I'm such a beginner still that going on the course and playing with people usually really like gets my competitive side when I can't even hit that well. I'm like, why am I paying so much money to be just upset? One thing that I know for sure that I'm looking forward to today is I think my boyfriend wants to go to Best Buy. Or something. I kind of want to look at new cameras. I've had this Sony camera for a couple of years now and I have been liking it. I like it enough for me to use it every video. Vlog cameras are always a little tricky because I do want like the cinematic look. I want the camera to be fancy and all but they have to be small. Finding a compact camera still to this day isn't that easy in my opinion but I'm not gonna lie I also really like the new iPhone that I got to vlog. Mind her to go wash her makeup brushes right now. Mm. We've been here for like an hour. Better be the best pancake I've ever had. The best pancake I've ever had was in Paris. I Wait, this actually better be the best pancake I've ever had. It smells really good. I used to use this. Honestly, I really liked it. This is not even. And this is the newest version of the G7X. These cameras don't even turn on here, so I can't even see. We're at the trusty Sally Beauty because I want to dye my hair. I used to come here because in Alabama, like you can't really go anywhere to dye your hair that's trustworthy. Use Anyways, but I found out that dyeing your own hair, no matter where you live, is the best way to go. It's the same stuff they use at the salon, but they charge you like 200 bucks. When this costs 30 bucks, no way. It is five, and it is so dark outside. I did the biggest load of laundry yesterday, so I've been folding some of that. Also cleaning just the clothes that's been laying around. I still need to tackle this, the chair. I'm gonna take a little break and go to the gym. I feel like I've been slacking off on going to the gym, and I have a theory that I love working out even more when I have a very specific goal. And the funny thing is I've never really had a very specific goal, but I kind of want to. So my gym has like a in body machine where you can measure how much muscle mass you have, how much like percentage of fat, percentage of muscle, etc. I don't know what else is on there. But I'm very curious and I really hope that today I get to hop onto that thing 
and see my muscle mass and everything analyzed and come up with like a very specific goal for me to reach and that's something that I can start working on right now for the new years and going into the new years and I think it'll be a new fun challenge for me so it's nice to have a goal that you can reach by the middle or like end of the next year but I think it's also fun for me to find things that I can start doing right away so I was in bed ordered like a meal kit service so I can start cooking more too that's something I'm trying for the new year Think about <laughs> Oh, not bad. It is 7 a.m. on a Monday and I woke up earlier than usual because I usually don't wake up at 7 a.m. But I still have so many little like Sunday reset tasks that I haven't done. And I just knew that if I woke up at a normal time, I would not have the time or the mental capacity to get done some of the chores that I want to get done during the day. I really needed this extra couple hours in the morning to make sure everything's cleaned out and taken care of so that I can have a good productive day and not be bothered by like oh my god I have clothes still in the dryer that needs to be folded or I have plates that need to be put away in the shelves I have a bathroom tub to wipe so I'm not an expert at doing these things it is hard so if you're out there constantly cleaning and still being stressed by how there's more to clean I'm there with you I got up, I made myself some green tea and I wrote a list of things, list of chores that I want to get done this morning so I'm just gonna go focus on that and then I'll come back when my space is clean because I'm gonna be in a much better mood by then <laughs> I will need to eat something before I go on with cleaning so I'm just making myself a little toast I went to H Mart yesterday I usually go to H Mart and Trader Joe's once a week H Mart just to get ingredients for all the Korean dishes that I'm gonna make for the week and then Trader Joe's for more like lunch and breakfast food but I didn't go to Trader Joe's in like two weeks so I don't have a lot of things that I can make my little toast with I'm gonna make it work with the things that I do have. I'm chopping up some mushrooms right now and I'm gonna make an egg scramble with hash brown and sausage. This is a lot of food. It is one of my goals to eat better. Balsamic glaze. Mm. In this vlog, I wanted to get the chance to sit you guys down, also sit myself down, mm. and have some time where we talk about the New Year's. I'm a big fan of setting goals for the New Year's. I love this time of the year where I can just kind of reflect on my past months and dream about the next few months that are about to come always done this always been this type of girl but i'm realizing that as i get older goal setting is becoming harder personally and i've been trying to figure out why and i think it's because when you're younger when you're 16 your goals look like this get good grades in school 
Now what? Get a good score on the ACT. Okay? Now what? Work on my college applications. Okay? Did that. Now what? Get accepted into a college that I want to go to. Every goal that we set has a next step that's kind of the obvious next step. But as years pass by, I'm realizing that the next steps are not so obvious anymore. I also feel like the more content I am with my life, the harder it gets to dream bigger and to set certain goals for myself because I get too comfortable. I've always wanted to live this lifestyle. So now that I'm here, I'm like, what more can I do? And it really takes some time for me to reflect and think what more I could do with my life. Not that I've done everything that I ever want to do, not that I've accomplished everything that I wanted to do. There's still so much that I haven't done and still so much that I want to do, but I think I needed this time to physically write out my thoughts and kind of figure out what my next year is looking like. Personally for me, I separated my goals into two big categories, one career goals, and one personal goals. For me, that's modeling, business, social media, and money, or financial goals. Under personal goals, I have travel, health and fitness, hobbies, and relationships. For modeling, I really want to build more relationships with photographers and go on test shoots so that I have a variety of different photos that I can present to future clients. And also to gain experience being on different types of set, working with different types of people. I really want to be bi-coastal to LA and New York with modeling jobs and possibly get signed to other agencies in New York or other cities, other countries, I'm very open to it. This is a pretty, I don't want to say pretty ambitious, but it's like a, it's the goal that I'm the most excited about and I want to do like a swimwear modeling. And for me, that's not even like, oh, I want to work with like a prestigious swimwear brand. It's not really like that. It's more of a personal goal for me because I feel like swimwear is like a lot. Like you really have to be confident in your own skin, confident in your own body and have that have so much confidence and be so sure to like fully commit to it and I want to reach that level of confidence within myself and within my modeling skill confidence so that's something I'm manifesting who knows if it's gonna happen or not but I'm keeping that open for myself and another goal under this big branch is that I'm looking to buy a car because the current Tesla that I have right now is a lease and I have to return it pretty soon so I'm already thinking about what I want to do next and hopefully I'll be in a financial situation where I can just invest in buying a car instead of leasing. Some personal goals. This is a little bit hard for me and something that I think I need more time. I need to live my everyday life and as things pop up in my head it's something that I'll just keep on adding it to my list. But one big thing for me is that I don't know what I do for fun anymore but I don't know if I actually have fun doing it. Like I mentioned, I go golfing pretty often, but I don't know if I actually have fun because I'm not that good and it honestly just makes me really really stressed whenever I'm out on the field. And like there's solutions to that. I can either take more lessons and get better and actually enjoy or like find other things that genuinely just make me happy to be there and to be doing the activity. And one thing that I'm thinking right now is I want to take ballet classes, like adult ballet classes. I used to dance so I think it'll be fun for me to get back into it. That's something I'm looking into. I already found a couple of like studios around me that I can try out. I want to go on a trip with my high school friends. I want to get back into snowboarding. You can drive two hours north from LA and you can snowboard there. It's pretty close. Two hours not bad, you can make it a day trip and I want to make it a goal to learn how to snowboard again and go pretty frequently and see if it's something that I can say is my hobby and something that I do for fun because I'm lacking that right now. And lastly on this list for now, I have more reading. Pretty basic. I have my goals just jotted down on my notepad, but I think I'll have a new journal for the new year. So once I have that journal here, I will transfer my goals onto the first page so I always can look back on it.
I went to bed super early last night, not even that early, like 11, maybe even before actually, I have no idea. I just went to bed because I didn't really have anything else to do and I was bored, so I was like, let me just go to sleep, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm just going to take that as a good thing because I did need that sleep for a full day of shoot today. This is my second day of waking up early and I really like it. It is so hard for the first 10 minutes, but once you get through that 10 minutes, you feel very accomplished, you feel so refreshed because like the morning air just hits different even when you're just still inside but I'm sure it's gonna hit even harder when I am outside and actually breathing like the cold crisp air but yeah I woke up even earlier than yesterday because I want to leave the house at 7 30 maybe even a little earlier to get a cup of coffee a cup of really good coffee I'm still thinking about the cup of coffee that I got from Sixth Sense a few days ago or Sunday so I really want to get that before I head into Culver City, which is where the shoot is at. Let me give you guys a little breakdown on how my shoot day is going to go. The call time is at 8, so I'm going to check in by 8, let them know that I'm there. But the shoot won't actually start until like 8.40 because the first 40 minutes is when everyone's getting their breakfast, when the photographer is setting their stuff up, when the makeup artist is starting their stuff up. So, so I usually go in at the site. They have your name, that is my alarm. And then I get my hair and makeup done and then we start shooting. We take a lunch break for like 40 minutes, we come back and that's pretty much it. But today I'm very excited because I think I'm getting dinner with Haley and her hometown friends. So I'm dressed more cute than usual. I'm wearing this black maxi skirt with the bow details on the side. So cute. But I'm gonna wear this jacket, which might seem so extreme, but it's so cold at the set that this is not extreme, I promise. I've never regretted being too warm on set, but I have regretted not wearing enough clothes on the set. So this is what we're going with. Okay, gotta go to work now. I am done for the day. I think it's been raining on and off all day today. I don't mind the rain. I wish it would just rain, like hard rain because I need a free car wash. <laughs> I'm gonna drive back home. I honestly thought I'll be going straight to dinner with my friends from here, but uh, this is so awkward because it's 30 minutes home. So I'll be getting home at 4.15, but the dinner is at five. It's okay, I'll just go home, get changed, and then just leave. I don't mind that. All right, but yeah, I wanted to go straight to dinner, but I ended a little early. It's so dark. <laughs> hey guys. Are you gonna try? Oh, well, I'm focused on ordering because I'm on order duty right now. Do the jam lettuce and then spicy quesadilla. And then we need your rec on one pasta that's not a red sauce. And then we need a recommendation for pizza. I like the Brooklyn Dodger. What's that? No, 